hello guys welcome back to my channel today in this video i will show you how to write a lambda function to trigger whatever the instances they are in stop state or running or which is in terminated or shutting down so that you just need to create a lambda function and you need to trigger all the uh, instances which are in stop state or terminated so that you need to write a python code so let's go to that let's go to lambda <coughs> So uh, you just need to create a function. The function name trigger is it instances status. I'm going to choose the Python language. Why? Because I'm familiar with Python. So you need to give the execution role for this lambda. So I'll go with the create new role with basic lambda permissions in the IAM. So click on the create function. It will take some time to create a role for with the basic lambda permissions. So the now trigger is ready. So you just need to write a code. This is the sample code. Let your code to trigger EC2 instances status. Import JSON. Proto3 is a client, so it will retrieve all the information from AWS. It will check the status of the all instances. This is the status line. It will describe all the instances. instances. Include all instances which are in my region in the Mumbai. So this is my code, <laughs> importing JSON and I'm importing Boto3 client so to retrieve all the information from AWS and the status code client dot describe is to instances status including all instances if you have any particular instance ID you can choose here so let's go to deploy Let me show you how many instances are running or how many it is shutting down. So I have five instances are running. Few are stop state. Okay. So deploy is done. You need to configure a test event. So the config test event has been saved. So click on test. It will execute the result. Line seven lambda description lambda.
everything is fine there it is stopping what is execution include okay the not author is to open this up let me check the IM row Okay, another is operation and calling the screen is just the operation. Let me check in the visual code editor. Put this in from different import equipment. Let me copy this code. This is the same error it is happening. save all the functions let me try to run so the same max memory 17 mb time is just failing ok let me check the aim route Okay, basic execution rule is attached. It is a customer managed, not the AWS managed policy. Let me add uh, for a while the admin access so that I can check later. What is the exact issue? Admin access. So the role is at been attached to permission. results are stated so 0 is pending state 16 is the status code for running 32 is for shutting down 48 is for terminator 64 is stopping state 80 is stop state let me check what are the instances are in running state so these are the 5 instances are running let me check with the i01b4 Ending with B three five F. B three five F. It is in running state. Okay, you can see here that the same exact it is matching. is matched so these are the status codes to check what are those services or is it instances is running or not 
this is the status code to run the trigger function from lambda so this is my region this is my instance id the code 8 is is first upper state so it is in stop state so let me try to terminate an instance or stop state let me try this to stop state let me check it is 1d32 I have stopped this instance so it is in stopping state let me check what is the stopping state 64 let me check what is the 64 result so this is the 64 this is the instance id 1d32 so this is the 1d32 this is how we can create the lambda function to trigger the instances status running or stopping or to terminate or uh, any shutting down instances while deploying so this is the process. So I hope you have got the idea.